Hey everybody, welcome to well, my first official craft along. Uh, we had Jenny Atkinson here a couple weeks ago. She did one. It took off. It was uh, so popular that I thought, you know, I need to do one too. There's Charlotta. Hey, Charlotta. Um, so I have been kind of playing around with the idea that Jenny brought to the group, which was to make a folder out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And it just opens up a whole new world of stuff. It's really fun. Hey, Gina, Kathleen, Allison, hello. Are you all there in your seats? Just unable to contain yourself that this is starting? I have been thinking about it all day. And right before I got on, I realized I forgot to put a couple items on the list. Hey, Anne, I forgot to say scoreboard and bone folder, but I'm hoping that you have them, you know, right by your desk and that that is not a big deal. Hey, Karen and Lynn, Crystal, how's it going, everybody? You having a good day? I went outside and was not attacked by my friends that I don't like, the cicadas. <laughs> So I was very happy. There's Linda. Hello, Frederica. How are you doing? Yeah, so today we're going to make this little booklet and we're going to do it together. There's Johanna and Jackie Kay. So it's really fun. We're not going to probably get the whole thing done. Hey, Kim. Um, so, but I, mainly I want to show you the structure of it. Hey, Jenny and Andrea, Sharon. Uh, it's really fun to make. It's so easy to make the folder part of it. So um, I think it'll go pretty quickly and you are free to add whatever you want to it. Uh, I just did a couple things. I, mine are, neither of mine are done, but I kind of want to have time to play with them. Hi, Tracy and Glum. How are you? Oh yeah, we got a good crowd going here. Uh, just before we get going, I did want to say one thing and that is that um, sadly, Mitziana, who is one of the admins of our group, her sister passed away. And I was thinking if anybody is interested in sending her a card, uh, if you want to message me, I'll send you her address. I don't think she would mind. She's, I think, on her way out there right now. So, um, you know, she does a lot in our group and uh, for the team. And, and so, um, you know, if you'd like to do that, I know she's very sad and it's so hard. Anyway, hello Stacy from Hagerstown. Um, just a couple other things. I added this. This is our package of napkins that we uh, that I showed you the other day. The title of it is Birds, Butterflies, and Bees. And so just quickly I'm going to go through. They're in the shop. It's five dollars for 12 napkins. I think you get a really nice um, collection here. Let's see. I know. So if you like any of these and you like to do the napkin collage, then please feel free to head over. I have 15 packs of them, so just let me know. Uh, they're in the Etsy store. And just a couple more. I love that one. That's my favorite, I think. Well, that color. These are kind of cool, these wacky birds. And this is the one that we did our little project with the other day. And then here's the last one. So I know these are upside down. I did want to show you, I finished that little book and I think it came out cute. It, it wound up, um, Jackie, Jacqueline Kay, good to see you. So this was a nice quick little book that we made the other day, make a great gift. I mean, really you could make this for like a dollar and it looks high-end, I think. So uh, that's in the Etsy store. And then on Monday, I have a video going up for Sizzix where we're making some of these crepe paper flowers. This is the one that I make on the video and it is really fun to work with. It's, it's a very high quality um, tissue paper and it was a lot of fun to work with and play with. We're gonna do some more of it in the group, but if you wanna go ahead over Monday at, it's four o'clock UK time, so that's 11 o'clock Eastern, okay? And here is the crepe paper. Look at these colors, I'm dying. 
So we used uh, this pack. That one's called uh, Vintage. So I'll be listing these later today. If you want them, just let me know. I'm leaving for the beach. I mean, not the beach. I'm going up to my mom's. I'm going to New York on Monday. So um, if you want to get some of this and start playing with it, I can mail it out tonight. But after that, uh, I'll be at my mom's. So I, then I'll mail it on Monday. But if you want, this will be listed later. I also have the dies that we used in the making of this little book. Now, this folder is going to fit inside the pocket notebook. It's a little close, but it fits. It's four by six, and this is uh, four by six and three quarters. So it's a little up to the edge, but it does work, and I'll show you as we get going. I only have two of those in the Etsy store if anybody needs one. Okay. The other one that we're going to use is the mandala, and that's for just stenciling. You don't have to do that, but if you have it, um, in fact, I forgot to take it out. I like to use that. I just keep it by my desk, and whenever I just want to randomly stencil on something, I take out my stencil that I cut out of um, paper, paper leather, or as we're now calling them, texture rolls. But this stuff is so sturdy because it does not... Um, it doesn't come apart. It, it won't tear or anything. So I really like using this. And I mean, you can see how delicate that is. I've used that for many, many stencils. So, okay. So then the other die is two other dies. This is the waterfall. That's kind of the main one that we're going to use. And then this one here is the folio page pocket and flowers. And we're going to use this uh, piece a little differently than I don't know. It, it, the way that happened was I just laid them out on the folder and it, it was like, oh yeah, I need to do that. So, uh, you know, be open to all of the possibilities. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was paper. And I'll show you the one that I use. I'll wait until the camera uh, goes down. But um, I had gotten this pack of paper a long time ago. I don't know where I got it. I don't even know really the people that made it. Like it's a, a brand I hadn't heard of. First edition paper, FSC. I, I don't know, but it is just beautiful. I'll go through it, but pick any piece. And I guess the thing that I wanna say is, you know, if you use too thick of a piece, it, it's, it starts cracking and it will just be hard to fold over. So I like to use kind of a medium weight paper for this project. So the one that I'm going to use is from a paper pad that I got at Joann's called Vintage Pastel. You want to have double-sided. Oh, you do have that there. I thought that it might be a UK brand, Sharon. I wasn't sure. So the one that we're going to work on today is this paper. It's just kind of a plain, you know, the pattern. There's just... A random pattern on the back which is nice because you're gonna be folding this up so you have to think about where the text if you're using text where that's gonna fall when you fold it so just something to think about okay uh, let me just see what else I have to say here I talked about the Facebook live on Sizzix on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern or UK time what else um, oh I do have some stamps coming out in August, and I was wondering, I need to order some so that I have them in stock for you guys, if anyone's interested. Um, if you might be interested, could you just um, kind of put that in the comments so I can have some kind of clue? I could also ask in the fan club, but um, just so I know. There's Christy and Andrea. How is it going, guys? We're about to make this little craft along, okay? Um, so what I did was, and really the only thing that's different about this than my normal, um, you know, show that I do is that I pre-cut everything ahead of time and we're going to go through step by step. Okay, great. Thanks, Leslie. Uh, and so we'll just go through everything step by step and you're going to make it with me. And then I'm hoping that after that in the group that you're going to um, share yours so we can kind of see some different variations on this because I know that you have ideas and I, you know, no one has the same supplies. So add as much stuff to it. The, the one thing about this folder though, that I kind of, um, 
the thing that I didn't like about the other one that I made is that it was too bulky. It didn't fold flat. So the one that we're going to do today will fold flat. And uh, there are a couple adjustments that you want to make to to doing that. Okay. So, and as I said, I forgot to say, use your scoring. You're going to need a scoring board and a bone folder. That's not on the list, but hopefully you have it nearby. Okay. I am going to turn the camera down and we'll talk a little bit more about our supplies and then we will get going on this. Okay. And hopefully I can make this transition safely. <laughs> I have my little thing set up here. Okay. I have my list. Let me move it over a little bit. How does this look, guys? Thank you. I'll look later about the stamps. I'm trying to make sure I do everything here. Okay. All right. And let me get you up on my computer. And then we will go. Okay, so here is the list. And if you weren't able to get this stuff together, don't worry about it. You can do it later. You can, the good thing about this is that you can stop the video and start it. So if you, you know, get confused about something, you can just, uh, you know, go back and refer to this and we'll all be doing it together. So these are the things that I already cut. I did not, um, <sighs> what do you call it? Distress everything. See, and they kind of stick out. You know, I didn't distress these, but I distress these. So I will be doing that. And, um, all right. So this list is on the page on my, my Eileen Hull designs page and in the fan club. So if you have questions about how many of what, you know, this is kind of a, a loose list as you might expect because, uh, you know, you might want to add some different things than I did. Okay, so here is the paper that I'm going to use. And I, you can't tell from this what the weight of it is, but I would say it's a medium to heavy weight uh, cardstock. You know what? I'm going to put this up a little bit because when we start doing stuff, you're going to see my washi tape. All right, let's... Uh, see if I'm up here. There we go. So the oh, one that shoot. we're going to do today will... Okay, be quiet. <laughs> okay, here is the one that this came from, this paper pad, which I thought was very pretty. That's a nice one. I didn't even notice that. I didn't use that at all. And I did cut one of these out because these are great. If you can find a paper pad that has the um, little cut aparts on them. You can use them in your book too. You can round them or your folder. You can round them off or you could just cut them down. You know, this is pretty. I don't know that I love this foily part of it, but to me, it's like, it's too fancy, but you know, everybody has their likes and dislikes. So, and you know, you just use the other side. That's pretty. So that's what, that's neat. I didn't even notice that either. You could use these. I need to cut that out. You take it out of there because we could cut that right down. You don't need that many pages though. You wind up with extra stuff, which is fine. All right, so let me just go through how I started this. And first I made a prototype and that was this one just for the measurements and the kind of the shape of it and how I wanted it to work. And that one I stitched. You could do that if you wanted, if you like to stitch. Uh, but I just used some tape for the second one. And then this is the little pocket. And so I think you can kind of figure out uh, how this is going to work here. How is this? Can you guys see okay? All right, let me put this up a little more. How's that? I want you to be able to see. So this was my prototype. All right, then I went and started kind of refining it. So... You know, if you get an idea like this, just always make your prototype that you don't care about it if you mess it up. Because, yeah, there's some special paper that we have that we do not want to, to mess up. And then that's it. All right, let's see here. All right. Are we, are we focused here? 
No. Okay. Okay, the other thing that I forgot to say was a punch. Sorry about that. But you can always do that by hand. Hey, Rizwana, how are you? I am not organized, Jenny, really. Ugh, I wish. I could only wish. Okay, so this one, you know, I was trying to figure out which is right and which is wrong. There's no clefts on here, really, to, that I could see to figure out. Oh, there's some, okay, this looks like this is right. So figure out what you want for the inside and the outside. I like both sides, it doesn't matter. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is lay that in your scoring board and you're gonna score at eight and four. All right, everybody with me? You all set and ready to go? Okay, so we've got four, four, four. These are all, you know, little panels. Then you're gonna rotate it one time and you're gonna score it down the middle at six. Okay, this is pretty much all of the scoring that we're gonna have to do, okay? It's very easy, but it makes sense. It's 12 by 12, so you have, you know, <laughs> four, eight, 12, and then six and six. All right, so let's just uh, fold on these lines here. And then we're gonna cut, and I also didn't say a self-healing mat, I don't believe, or a craft knife, maybe I said that. Who knows, this was like at two in the morning. But hopefully you have those items there with you. Ah. Okay, so now we have it folded up, and I think I wanna have mine, uh, yeah, I think I want this on the inside. Hmm. Actually, I think I'll do it the other way, because this might stand out more. And if you want to go ahead and do your bone folder here, that's just going to, you know, reinforce your score lines. And then we're going to trim. And this is where there is a little trick to it, because we're going to go outside the lines so that this folds over just right, okay? So what you're gonna do, now if you don't have the bone fold, or the, um, what do you call it? The uh, knife, the blade, you can use scissors, absolutely. And what we're gonna do, which I know everyone's gonna love here, is you're gonna cut in, like, here's the line. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see the ridge here. You should be able to see on your paper. That's the little bump. You're going to go a little bit over. I would say maybe, I don't know. Let, let, I'll do one and then you can see better. Just, oh, it is shifting. Okay, you're going to the inside of your paper here. And now you're going to do the same on the other side of it. And this is going to help with that bulk in between, okay? If there's a way you can measure it, but if not, just... You know, just do it by eye. All right, so you should have a good little piece, chunk, taken out here. Okay, you got that? I had a little blip there, but don't worry about it. All right, and then we're going to go over here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut to this side of the score line that you can see going down here, and then a little bit to this side. So I don't know how much that is. Maybe... A t uh, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. Don't be shy. You can always go back and do it again, but it's not gonna hurt anything to have it like that, to have enough space. So you'll, it's good. Do it again, this thing is shifting on me. All right, and then I'm going, moving over a little and I'm doing the same thing, okay? All right, and then just kind of take that out. All right, so we're all set. That's really all we have to do. The rest of it is just gonna be gluing. So the thing to do now is you're gonna fold it over and you're gonna see that you will have a little bit of extra bulk here. So we're just gonna take another little shaving off this piece right here. 
All right, I can't see. Are you guys commenting or are you just making stuff and you don't have time to talk? I don't see any comments moving over here. All right, let's take a break. Everybody doing okay? Are you with me? It's really easy. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do is get your trimmer. Okay, I see some hearts, thank you. You're gonna fold this up here and this is your far right corner and just cut off like about that much, you know, that same amount that you cut in between here, cut that off the side and you're gonna be amazed at how much that helps your book or folder work better, okay? So let's fold them up again and there you go, nice and flat. And look at how pretty that came out. I didn't plan it that way, but I love the front. I'm gonna cover it up, but <laughs> I love it. So, okay, now let's make our little pockets, all right? This is gonna stay like that. That's not gonna get glued or anything. If you want, let's look on here. On this one, I did not, um, I didn't do a thumb notch in here, but you're gonna have a little opening, so you could. If you wanna have one, you wanna do that now, let's just do one. And then you're gonna make them over here too. And I'll go through how I, I who do not measure anything, did measure. <laughs> just because, just for you. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is measure this. It should be six inches. And I'm just gonna make a little dot right here in the middle, three. And make it so you can see, because you're going to cut this out anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's going to get punched out. Then come over here, and you're going to have the same thing. Six inches, right? So you want your thumb hole. Well, there's two things you could do. You could just line this one up and copy this one, <laughs> which I might do. But what you're going to do is at... At the marks uh, one and a half and four and a half, that's gonna be the centers here, and then you just punch them, okay? So let's do our little thumb holes. Is everybody with me? Can you guys talk? Because I don't think, could somebody say something? Hello? Is anybody out there? It's lonely, <laughs> it's lonely. I like when you guys talk. All right, so let's make our little thumb, thumb holes here. Okay, so just eyeball it, not a big deal. You just, this just helps a little bit when you go to, um, you know, pull your tags out. And then we have one over here. Wait, where'd that go? One here is, yeah, I missed it. In the middle here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, everybody with me? This is so weird, I can't see. There's 115 comments, but I don't see them. Hang on. Well, I don't know. And if you guys want to share this, that would be nice. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is, let's see, if you want to distress this, now would be the time because it's easy to do when these parts are separate. They might not be that easy when you glue it together. I'm just doing a very light, light, um, technique of it though so to me it's not that big a deal and I know this is Charlotta this is going to drive her crazy because um I might get something wet <laughs> and I don't want to do that but I I'm just going to show you that you know how to do this this is crazy I don't even know why I'm showing you, but it's kind of fun. Once I get started, though, I kind of am, com am committed, but it does go a lot faster if you just go around the edge here. I may not do the whole thing, but I might just go around one time, just so everybody can catch up. You're probably all 
fine. This is so easy, right guys? Is it easy? I don't see one comment. Now there's 124 comments, but I don't see any of them. What the heck? Where are they? I can't see if you guys have any questions. Oh, wait a minute. No, that there's no... Where the heck are the comments? I don't understand. I can usually see them scrolling through. Oh, well. Um, hmm. All right. I don't... I don't know how to see if you guys have questions, but hopefully somebody in there knows what's going on and... <laughs> You can, maybe Jenny's there. She can help you. <laughs> Any Jenny in the area. Or Glum or somebody. <laughs> all right, so you get the idea of this. That's all. I'm just thinking. If you want to do it, you can. On one of them I did, one I didn't. The other one was kind of clean and simple, but I do think that this does make things stand out because you're working with a paper pad that the, all of the uh, papers are kind of, they go together, so they also kind of blend in a little. So that's not always what you want. I'm going to put this away right now. Okay, so now we're going to glue these together. All right, I'm going the wrong way. All right, this is our middle. We're going to put a waterfall here and we're going to put a pocket here. But first, let's put these together. It kind of gets them out of the way, okay? Now, I got some new glue yesterday. It's called Cosmic Shimmer. And I'm trying that instead of my uh, art glitter glue because it's been clogged up. I don't know why. All right, so now we're just going to take our glue, whatever you like to use, whoa, and go around the edge here. Whoa, that's coming out fast. Here and here. All right, you're going to leave this open because we know that's a pocket. All right, and just fold it over. Hopefully it doesn't go all globby. If it does, just wipe it off. All right, so that's that. That's on my table. All right, now this other one, I want to show you how I did this, but you're welcome to do it however you want. Here's this one. And I just put very thin score tape here. I put this down the middle. These are two separate pockets. So you could stitch here or you could glue, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna glue this time, I think. All right, so the glue would go halfway down the middle here. I'm just eyeballing that up here. Whoa. And across here. I have to get better at this. I think I cut the little thing too much. Well, it does work really nicely. And then you're just going to fold that over, okay? Wait, a few more video details. Maybe that's what... Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, I'm still here. All right. Huh. I can't understand why I can't see these comments, though. Usually they go... Oh, well. All right, I'm just going to keep moving through, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, now, the next thing that we're going to do is I may just move over to this one to make it easier. Okay, so pretend this is closed up. Now, if you have any scraps left over, I said, I think, four by six, you're going to have to trim it into, like, three and three quarters or three and a half even if you want to put it inside and make sure that this is still going to close because you've got this big fat thing here. So that's got to fold up. So just make sure you have room to do that. But we're going to add our waterfall here. Okay, so let me get out my... Uh, did I cut them? I don't think I did, but I'll show you how. You guys know how to do the waterfall. This is, you know, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have six of these. So you would just lay one down, lay them down, kind of on top of each other. I'll wait for you, okay? I will wait. And I'll see if I can get another device to watch what you're saying. Let me try my iPad, okay? So in the meantime, <laughs> you guys put down your first one right at the top, okay? And fold them over so you can kind of see where they go. But you're going to do six of them, 
okay, and just glue them down so you have them ready to go, okay? All right, let me see if, I hope I have a battery here. <sighs> Getting reports on my mom's uh, air conditioning unit. Low battery. Oh. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, I can find you. All right. Everybody doing all right? You gluing away here? Okay, let's see. Yay, okay, I got them. All right, you will be organized, more organized next time, but you're having fun watching. Okay, that's good, Karen. And you can also go ahead and just, um, you know, rewatch this if you had to. Okay, let's see, what else? Yay. Every six inches. Okay, so you're just talking about... All right, so everybody's good. I wonder if it might be idea an idea to post your... Typed instructions in the fan club. They, they're they in there, uh, Jenny. They're under the post. I could put them in a document, yeah. And I can add and edit, you know, to put the things I forgot to put in there. Okay, so hopefully you guys have added all of your little pieces here. All right, and these would be the same going... Again, I just, I don't know what it is, but I don't like that foil. So you would just... You know do this I think I'm gonna switch over to this other one because it's not all the way done all right this one is so I'm happy to say I went to the post office there were no cicadas in the way <laughs> hallelujah gross all right, so you would just put these down. You know how to do it. And then these were nice little bonuses that I thought were really cute. So you could even do like a little book like we did the other day, you know, to make this and tuck that in somewhere. That could go inside. These little cards could go in, depending on the paper that you picked. Okay? And then... The, my job is done. I showed you how to put this together. Okay. Um, all right. This is wacky. Elizabeth Robinson is watching is on there about 95 times. The comments are really weird today. So I don't know, guys. I'm in the blind here. I'm just working uh, <laughs> in the dark. It's That's okay because I get distracted when I see you guys. So we're just making our little folder so I'm gonna just attach this you guys have your waterfall hopefully everybody is caught up and I'm just gonna fold this over all right and then we've got our little pockets over here and then you're just gonna take the little tags that you were supposed to cut and here are also some of those little rectangles. You can use those for little mini journaling cards. I think they're really cute. And these hold the medium tags over here. So that's where those go. And you can add your little ribbons to this or seam binding, whatever you'd like. So one in each of these. All right. You may have to make sure that these are all the way to the end, though, because when you go to fold this over, that's going to be in the way if you didn't fold that. Or, you know, if, if this is too close to the end, or you could just trim off your tag. However you want to do it. It's your folder. Okay, so those are in there. And I wouldn't recommend putting a ribbon because, again, that'll be bulk for over here. So that's all right. You can just pull them out or put a little paper tab or, like, a little round thing or something. You can really pretty, 
pretty well grab those. Okay, now the next thing that you're going to do is take a scrap of paper, and I did not have one. So uh, what I did, this was left over. It wasn't big enough. Uh, in that one, I, in this one, I made a full-size pocket and then had this pull out of here. Isn't that just the prettiest piece of paper you ever saw? It's amazing. Okay, Elizabeth says, just the one, me, and four dogs watching. I don't know what's going on with this thing. And then I just took a little piece of seam binding just to help pull it out. And also this could be decorated too, but probably not too much because again, we're talking about the bulk. If you don't mind the bulk, you know, don't worry about it. But you do have to make sure before you cut to, uh, you know, before you glue this down, you have to make sure that you have cut enough away from this fold here. So you have to do that kind of in the beginning. All right, so here is the other one that, you know, just looks a little different. This is the one that I did not uh, ink. And I just love this paper. So this will hold the big tag. This one and this one. That holds the big tag. Okay, so that's that. And then I just made a little belly band out of a scrap here and, you know, stuck my little cards in here. You could put a pocket here. I did it on this one. Again, you're just going to have to see how much room you have in there. Um, but I just took one of my little pocket pieces and put that here. So I could use that for my journaling cards that came as the cut-aparts if I wanted. Those fit great. Or if I made a little book. But again, that's going to add bulk. Not a big deal if you don't, if that doesn't bother you. You could also use any little labels that you have or extra pieces of paper. Um, something else that would work well in here would be like book pages because that's so thin. You know, you could decoupage that on or maybe some napkins or whatever you'd like. You could put something on here, even little words you could write on there. You stamp lots and lots of options for that. So let's see here. Oh, no. oh wait, no, okay. Can't watch and listen and make at that pace. I get it. How did you make the middle pocket above waterfall. Yeah. Okay. That was just a scrap of paper that I cut out. I punched the little notch, Christy, and then I glued it down. That's all. Very easy. Um, I don't know what happens, but not seeing any comments following the ones you made. Okay. Reload the page if your comments disappear. And yes, you realize that Carmen probably can't see this. Carmen, give it a try. Your list said 10 waterfall pages. Do you only need six? Yes. Only for this part, Johanna, but if you want, you can use a pocket right here, you know, so I allowed for some extra ones for you to add in where you wanted, because I think this would be cute to put one right here, you know, and that gives you kind of a little uh, gusset here at the bottom, so that'll allow you to put some things in here, or you can put it over here, you know, that gives you just a little bit extra, and you have still on the outside, on the back, you have room back here to add stuff too, so Again, you might want to make that little book out of them. You know, I just, I cut 10 and I use six, but I might use more. So yeah, these numbers are not exact. You cut whatever you want. And sorry if you <laughs> cut too much. Okay, I did not do the front curvy pockets yet. No, we didn't get up to that. I'm so busy blabbing. Okay, but we have our pockets. We have our, this pocket, We've got our waterfall, um, you could also add those little rectangle pieces. Uh, let me find one. You know, this is what I call the mat to the waterfall. You could add those on here, you know, if these are skinny enough. I think that would work. You know, so I just gave you a little bit of extra discretion where you wanted to put your others. You know, it would be cute to make a pocket out of this. Well, we've done that going this way. But you could also have stuff sticking out here, you know, if that was a pocket. I don't know. Or you could add your little scallops. You know, the rest of it is all how you want to do it. You could add these here or under here, however you want. 
that will add a little bulk but not too much so you know I'm leaving some of this up to you guys <laughs> Yes, it will be perfect for a little album as a gift for your mom, Frederica. Yeah, I do love these papers. So that's if you have ones left over, don't worry. Um, the rounded ones we haven't done yet. But the way we did them is... Uh, I don't know if I cut enough of them. Let me see. I, I just went ahead and I've got this little storage compartment thing. And you know, if you wanted to add your little reinforcements to the top of your tags, you can do that. You know, I'm not gonna get into all that because that's something that you guys can do. Um, here's a couple. Let me just show you how I did the front because that was kind of fun. And I don't have enough to do another one. I just was not that organized. But I think it's not hard. You guys can get this. Okay. So you, I think I said to do six of these. So you can use either side. Now, these are not the same size. These are, uh, this one I chopped off. Wait a minute. I must have a good one. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe in here. Also, if you wanted to, like, stencil something here, that would... You know, that might be a good thing because that's not going to add uh, bulk to anything. You know, that would just be a nice little detail. So you can lay that down and add some stenciling in there. I'm sorry this is not going exactly according to plan, but I know you guys are creative and you probably have your own ideas of what you want to do anyway. Once you got the general idea of how to make the folder, that was my goal of showing you that. How you decorate it is, I can't wait to see how you decorate it. So again, don't forget to share that and share it in the fan club. If you don't belong to the fan club, go ahead and join Eileen Hall Fan Club on Facebook and Show us what you're making here. Let me get the inside. So using things like stencils, that just gives you a little bit of dimension there. Kind of cute. Maybe another color would be pretty. Um, let's see if I do. I know that I cut a couple more round pieces. They're all blending in. See, they're, they're all too alike. All right, what do we have in here? Here's, here's a couple. I'm just going to put them on here to show you how I did it. All right. Let's, I'm not going to glue these down, but this is the idea of this. Let me do it on this one. All right, so you always want to fold this side over. Remember, we chopped this stuff off this side, so that one's a little shorter, and then like that. Okay, so pretend these match. They don't, but we're just going to take two of them, and you can decide whatever color you like, where you want to put them, but we're going to do one here at the bottom, and then one is going to overlap. And you'll notice that they're two different sizes. I don't care which one goes where. You know, I would go really over which side of the paper you like better, because this would be a double-sided paper. So what you're going to do is just glue down here and here. Okay? You're just going to set those down, and now you've got one pocket. All right? So once that's done, you're going to take this other one, and you're going to lay it on top, it could go under it if that looks better to you, but then you needed to do that first. Whichever one you want on the bottom, put down first, and then the other one goes on top. Just leave a little border if you want, or you can cover it, and glue that one down. Same thing, like this and this. Now you have two double pockets, so you can use this one underneath and that one on top. So this is a layered pocket, okay? So you have those. Now this is the kind of trick to all of it. You're going to take the third one and you're going to lay that inside here. And that's going to make it look almost like a little envelope. Okay, so that's going to be part of it. 
and this one you're going to put your glue here and here. You're going to put them on the straight sides, not on the curve, okay? And then you're going to tuck that inside here, okay? I can't tell if everybody is with me. I have Elizabeth again 97 times. <laughs> okay, yeah, we've given the base, which is okay. Here we go. Um, what else? Yes, it would look good in one of our die cut books. Actually, it does fit, Gail. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, yes, the base, you got the base. Okay, so we have that done, all right? So you can leave it like that if you want, and you can tuck whatever you want in here because you have this open, right? You have that open, you have that open. All right, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two more, and behind here, you're gonna put two more pockets. All right, depending on which one you want to be the front and the back, and you're just gonna line these up with the top of this curve here, and that's gonna give you like five pockets, okay? Because then you're gonna be able to go in here, in here, 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 and here, okay? You get that? Makes you think about Art Nouveau, yeah, it does kinda, the shape of it, yeah. Okay, so does everybody get what I'm saying? You love it? <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Charlotta. So, you know, you could even take one of these and set this in here. Kind of covers a lot, but I, I like the little tags. Um, here's this one. So you can see when you take it out, you know, where all these tucks go. There, 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 and there. Isn't that fun? I love it. You are not the only one. Art Deco and Nouveau together. Kind of awesome. Yes. Yeah, these are fun. I would put these on the front. And you can cut as many as you want and put them on as big journal, little journal. You could do the side coming down, you know, like four corners. All kinds of possibilities for this. Okay. So that's the front. And then if you want to ink these and put them in there, that's good. It is like a fan, exactly. It does look like a fan, kind of like an envelope too, I was thinking. So yeah, just kind of an interesting cover. And then, you know, whatever you can fit in here, go ahead and add, you know? But let me show you how it fits in the book. Now it's getting fat though, <laughs> it is. But that's all right. Let's look through this one too, because this one, this one, I like how clean this is and I love this paper. I just love, I like having just the full vision of this paper, but so you can have, you know, lots of stuff in here. So it's the same idea. It's just a little softer. All right. And let me put that in this book here. This is my pocket notebook. This is one that I'm currently using. I did use my aglets. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you order from Etsy, I'm just going to throw some in. Um, if you order, you know, 20 bucks or something, I will add some of these in so you can kind of play around with them. Um, but let's add in our book here. I don't have... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to borrow the elastic out of this one and put it around here. And then you just fit that into your book. You just load it in there. How's that? Amazing. You know? So you can open that out. You could have a little calendar. Wouldn't that be cute? You know, you could do your, um, this, this calendar on there. That would fit perfectly. Where is my May page? I thought I, I just got rid of it. I don't wanna, oh wait, there's March, let me see. You know, look at this. This is the one that's on the, my in my Etsy store. You could trim that down. You've got a nice little calendar here. You could do post-it notes here. Not a whole lot though. But if you put another score line over here, it would fold over. If you put two more score lines, it would fold over and be a little fatter but you could do that too if you wanted to make that more dimensional, okay? Mine, mine, my precious. <laughs> you 
you have kids on the brain, last day of school. Oh Lord, I remember those days when you're like, oh, what am I going to do with them all summer? <laughs> those were my horrible thoughts. <laughs> I admit it. Mm, yeah, I don't miss that really. <laughs> Monica Huber fun video for your journal crafting. Okay. It has 12 sections. Oh, a month on each. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, you could do that. Wow, that's another way to do it. Glum, you guys are always thinking. Okay, well, that is that's what I got for you. I think it's kind of fun. You have that paper pad? Tanya, do it. Oh yeah. I love it. I it's like one that I'm like hoarding. Wait, let me see where. Yeah, I showed it in the beginning. Are you talking about this one? I can look at these. Oh, wrong way that it's got like this iridescent shine to that um, now these are like a canvas really really nice I thought about sewing through them more iridescent they don't all have designs on the back the iridesc iridescent ones but these do wait a minute what the heck? I thought they had designs on the back. What is going on here? Well, I guess they... Oh, yeah, these do. All right, so the ones that are specialty papers, shiny, they don't have designs on the back, but these do, which are pretty. I like all of these. That red doesn't seem to go, but I like it. It does give a pop. That one's pretty. Ooh, ooh we have thunder. Yeah, I just think these are amazing. Not sure what I'm going to do with all that, but I still have a lot of paper left. I used very little in this. You know, that's another fun thing about it. So, okay. Well, I think, uh, unless there are any questions, I think I'm good. Oh, you bought a Joann's this one, Tanya, or this one? Because this one came from Joann's. Yes, it did. It was there. Well, good, Gina. I hope you guys uh, were able to, you know, get something done and have that good feeling of accomplishment and um, that you're going to be making some more of these and uh, playing around with it. Okay? So, I, like I said, I'm going to my mom's this weekend, but I'll be back and I'll have something else on Tuesday. So if you could share this with friends that you think might like to do this kind of project, um, you know, you could use this as a card, really. That would make a nice little card, and you could put little things inside, a gift card or something. And what fun for people to look through, like a little treasure hunt, you know? Can you see the new stamps? Ah, not yet, Glum, but there is good news on that front. <laughs> Coming soon. I had a good call yesterday, so we're we're working on it. I don't have them yet to show you. They're kind of behind the factory, but um, we're working on it. And we are going to have a, a sneak peek in the middle of July, okay? And you'll see them. There might be some other stuff, too. We'll see. Okay? Coming soon. <laughs> if I can hold it all together. All right, well, thanks everybody for coming. The name of the Joanne paper pad. It is called uh, Vintage something. Here it is. Vintage pastel. Yeah. A brag book for Nana's would be adorable to put photos in there. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, those little, little wallet size would be amazing. All right, I just lost power on my iPad, guys. The battery is shot. So, all right, I'm going to take off. But thanks so much for coming today. Th this was fun. It was a little more work, but, you know, that's not going to kill me. But it's not going to happen every time, I'll tell you that much. 
<laughs> too much organizing for me. But, I mean, we'll be still doing stuff like this, so, you know, it's just, you know, you'll just have to do it after, but we'll do more, I promise, okay? And we also, I'm going to put something up in the group about another Fan 5 Live, okay? So if anybody, be thinking about it, if you want to be a guest, all right? If you already were on, then that, you know, you had your time. But if anybody new wants to come on, um, I could take up to five people. You can have five minutes to kind of show us what you do, introduce yourself. I love it. It's so much fun to meet other members of the group. Okay? So have a great weekend, guys, and we'll see you soon. Okay? Bye.